question was, could Fermanagh mark the occasion by robbing the home team of their expected win? Well, let's find out now with your commentator, Marty Morrissey. Referee for today's Ulster Championship match is John Goff of Antrim, who refereed the controversial 1983 All-Ireland final between Dublin and Galway on a day when the Mediterranean visited the city on the banks of the River Foyle. Fermanagh and Derry in the first round of the Ulster Championship. And Derry trying to create an early start and an early opening as Damien Cassidy sends it in towards the big full forward Eugene Young. This is Damien Barton. That's a good ball which Bart O'Brien, the captain, is well able to deal with it. Out to Colly Curran, who well indeed may be representing Ireland in the very near future as he's on the trial for the Ireland team to play Australia. This is full forward Brian Carty. Out there supporting him is Malachi O'Rourke from Derry Lynn. And Kieran McKeever and to stay right beside him. Goalkeeper Damien McCusker is happy to see it go out. In fact, the umpire there has given a 45. Malachi O'Rourke with this first 45 of this Ulster Championship clash. sends it high and over the bar the first score of the match after just five minutes of play here in Celtic Park Derry knocked down there well by Martin Higgins to John Rehill and so to Paddy Lynch coming out to meet it there first time with Vincent McCaffrey a really live wire at corner forward giving it to his left half forward Malachi O'Rourke now he's just got one going for number two and he's got it a fine point for Malachi O'Rourke and for Mana, although they're underdogs here in this Ulster Championship clash are showing some fine potential in the opening six minutes of play it was a fine move and Malachi O'Rourke obviously confident decided to snap it over the bar good score Liam McElhenney who came in for the injured Mickey Lynch just before the match started Trying to find Eamon Young. Michael O'Brien, who has switched corners, is in a little bit of hassle. The referee maintaining he had sufficient time to get rid of it, and the free is given to Derry. And the Gormley facing that angle, just back from Australia. And he hasn't lost his touch in the meantime. The opening score for Derry. So it's two points to one here in Celtic Park, Derry. Fine, sharp shooting skill here by Ender Gormley. Floated gently over the bar. <laughs> Damien Barton from Newbridge. And his intended pass, not a good one. But uh, Colly Curtin is guilty of charging with the ball. And John Goff quickly in there to assert his authority and give the free to Derry. So Ender Gormley has his, this opportunity to equalise the match. And he does so with fine style. Sides are level here in Derry after 11 minutes of play. Fine, long ball out of defence. Plenty of Fermanagh players there. One of them happens to be Paul Coyle. This is Martin Higgins. Malachi O'Rourke outside. And again, Sean McDermott. Fermanagh working backwards, but they're patient to try and work it. As Derry defence, very tight. Dangerous ball, which goalkeeper Damien McCusker comes out and sends it out for a 45. Malachi O'Rourke, who just completed his studies in St. Mary's and will be taking up a teaching post at St. Joseph's in Eskillen. He had one from a 45, and that's his second. And for Mana, go into the lead. Great play by Malachi O'Rourke. Down towards Eugene Young, former Irish international basketball player, Liam McElhenney. This is Damien Barton. Ender Gormley is fouled and another opportunity for Ender to slot over this one over the bar and equalise the match once again. 24-year-old Ender Gormley from Glen going for his third point. And there it is. Three points for Derry. Three points for Fermanagh. And 16 minutes gone in the first half. McAdams kick out. Marvellous fielding there by Plunkett Murphy but unfortunately couldn't hold on to it. Liam McElhenney getting it inside to Ender Gormley. Looking for a little bit of support. Nobody running off the ball. Damien Cassidy now showing for it. Lovely. Kitho, lovely footballer. And that's the skill of Cassidy. A player I greatly admire and we saw it underage. And showing great skill here 
in Derry. Bart O'Brien unable to hold on to it, Ender Gormley trying to create space. This is Fergal McCusker giving it into Cassidy. This is Eugene Young, it must be! Oh, yes! A Derry move has finally worked, and Eugene Young, who has just returned thanks to the inspiration of Father Sean Hegarty, finishes it to the back of the net. Fergal McCusker gave it into Damian Cassidy, and there was Young only to beat Cormac McAdam and no problem to the big man from Moneymore. This is it from a different angle. Fergal McCusker giving it into Damian Cassidy and watch Young from that distance, no problem. In off the post. Eugene Young, Damian Barton to Damian Cassidy. Falling outside is Plunkett Murphy, but good work by Cassidy. Now on that left foot. Yes! Superb score, the second point of the afternoon, and that should surely now put Derry on the road to a possible victory, but for Manor not out of it, as you can see the scoreline, Derry won five, for Manor four points. It is noticeable for this second half that for Manor have moved Martin Higgins to right half forward, and Fergal McCann to midfield as Damian Cassidy, with Nigel Sini chasing after him, comes back off the post, and that's Fergal McCusker. A fine goal. Superb finishing, and a man from Glen, a student in the University of Liverpool, cracks it home. Damien Cassidy with Nigel Sini chasing after him, and Cassidy's shot came back off the post. Fergal McCusker was there, and bang, no problem to the corner forward from Derry. Approximately 10,000 crowd here at Celtic Park will surely now tack on a few more scores. This is Damian Cassidy on the left foot. The umpire goes down for the white flag, and that's another point. And Derry now 2 6 for Mana, four points. Kick out by Cormac McAdam. Comes down to Damian Cassidy. Great start to the second half for Derry. Plunkett Murphy trying to sneak one past the for Mana defence. This is goal scorer Fergal McCusker. This is Damian Barton. Goes high and over the bar. The first point of the match for Damian Barton. And now Derry stretch their lead to 2-7 to Fermanagh's four points. Virgil McCann as Fermanagh try and create again another forward movement, but every time failing miserably. This is Virgil McKeever, by Cusker rather. And that is a very good point. Virgil McCusker, corner forward, making his tally for the afternoon, a goal and a point. This is Tony Scullion, Ryan McGilligan. Derry looking confident now as they go in pursuit of more scores. The ball hopped beautifully for Damian Cassidy. Now, can he finish it? Oh, magnificent goal by Damian Cassidy. That's a goal and three points for his personal tally this afternoon here in Celtic Park, and he certainly remembered the opening of this magnificent pitch here in Derry City. The ball hopped beautifully for Damian Cassidy, and just watch the left foot. Timing, perfect. N absolutely no chance for Cormac McAdam. Fergal McCann. Down towards Colly Curran. Bursting his way through. Great hearted player. Fouled by the Derry man, and a free in for Fermana. Well, Fermanagh have three points, have four points on the scoreboard, and this man has scored three. And that is his fourth. Frank comes down beautifully to Damian Barton. Then to Gormley. Back to Cassidy. Seamus Downey. Barbara McCusker. Back to Downey. And that's beautiful play. Seamus Downey. Super sub for Derry this afternoon, scoring a fine point here in the first round of the Ulster Championship. Derry there in numbers. Virgil McCusker giving it out to Seamus Downey. And despite his right knee being heavily bandaged, bang on target. Good score by Seamus Downey. Up towards Brian Carty. First time really getting away from Denny Quinn, but Quinn is coming in at him, but Brian Carty still going through. Now. Fermanagh creates something out of this, still working hard for it. Malachi O'Rourke and a fine save by Damian McCusker and out for a 45. The 
just when it comes to the point when you think Fermanagh are going to do something special, they just seem to fail at the final hurdle. Malachi O'Rourke is looking very good. It is indeed. As he puts that one over the bar, that's another good point. That's five points for Malachi. Holly Curran. I think even if Hugh McGee was watching this match, I think he'd be impressed with the left half back. In towards Dominic Corrigan. It's come on for Paul Coyle. This is John Rehel at the end of this crossfield pass. And well worked and well blocked indeed by Plunkett Murphy. Obviously the referee John Goff noticed a foul by Plunkett Murphy on John Rehel. So Maliki O'Rourke going for point number six and for Manas seventh. Relatively easy for the man from Derry Lynn. This is Martin Higgins, with a little bit of space. Falling outside is Sean McDermott, but the final pass easily intercepted by Eugene Kelly from Dungiven. Jamie and Cassidy trying to get it inside to Ender Gormley. Fouled, and the referee giving the free to the Red and White Brigade, who looking very impressive in this first round Ulster Championship clash. And a high. And Gormley over the bar. That's a superb point. That's the sort of thing that forward should be doing every time they get a free within that 45 metre line. Derry, 310. Fermanagh, seven points. Gregor McCusker. This is Damian Barton. Damien, in all honesty, never misses from that distance. And that's two points to Damien Barton and 3.11 for Derry. For Mana, seven points. Bart O'Brien decides to go on a world tour through Celtic Park, leaves his full-back role. Now, maybe this time, it's Brian Carty to Sean McDermott to Malachi O'Rourke and off the post. Well... It really isn't going to be for Manor's day. Nothing going right for them. And that must surely be down as a goal-scoring opportunity. Brian Carty. Across to Fergal McCann. Comes off the post for the second time. Malachi O'Rourke fouled inside. And the referee, John Goff, indicates a penalty. And maybe now, for Manor might be able to rattle the back of the Derry net. Malachi O'Rourke. Six points to his credit. Taking on Damien McCusker, who was full forward, would you believe, last year in the Ulster Championship against Fermanagh. Can he save it? Maliki, a brilliant save by McCusker. His second fine save of the afternoon. And no doubt about it, the civil servant from Glen, the Glen Club in Maharatown. Just watch this again. Maliki O'Rourke, low and hard, and McCusker brilliantly deflecting it out for a 45. And, uh, as referee John Goff has, in fact, indicated for it to be retaken, McCusker coming off his line and this time Maliki O'Rourke with opportunity number two against Damien McCusker and this time he beats McCusker and referee John Goff puts it into his little book and now Fermanagh at least put up a creditable score watch this again Maliki O'Rourke same spot but Cusker no chance this time Long ball. Well done. Comes to Damien Cassidy. And that's a marvellous goal. Seamus Downey added on to Damien Cassidy. And after that, it was just a simple task of putting it through. Damien Cassidy, look at that. Deadly finishing. Damien Cassidy. Two goals and three points, would you believe, to his credit. He swings it across towards Paddy Barton. And Paddy, so I may as well, says Paddy, over the bar. That's another point for Derry. And really now it's becoming embarrassing here in Celtic Park. Derry 414, Fermanagh 17. Well, Derry and Donegal do battle then as expected in the Ulster semi final on June 17th. By the way, the score there today was exactly the same score as it was 12 months ago between the two sides. Now, watching that match on our behalf today was Paddy Cullen. Paddy, Paddy from all. Uh, views of it that I saw there. It wasn't exactly a classic. 
No, it never actually reached the, the heights. You know, the day was beautiful. The pitch was in excellent condition. Whoever was responsible for that, congratulations. But it certainly didn't live up to uh, expectation. There was a great crowd there. Um, surprisingly enough now, Fermanagh settled early and they were attacking and you wouldn't give them the uh, underdog's tag initially, but um, they scored two points after attacking for about six minutes and Derry were asleep up to that stage, but then woke up and got back into the game. They always looked as if they were in control after that. I suppose they were always going to be favourites in the game and for Manor, from my point of view, they looked like they were at sixes and sevens a lot of times, so they had good promising moves. Yeah, um, it was a funny thing. They played well out of defence. They played short moves, short balls, but then when a time when they should have played a short ball, like this clip here, the ball is knocked back out. Um, he picks it up on the wing. He has three or four players out to his left. He decides to give it to him. But then there's another player inside who doesn't get the ball, which they were doing earlier on. And the ball is just kicked away and wasted on wide. And this was the pattern that they fell into after the first six or seven minutes when they had played so well. They would have played so well as well because they went into the game having beaten Derry uh, in the McKenna Cup a few weeks ago. So they weren't without hope. But I suppose once again, it just goes to prove that the championship is uh, it's a different matter altogether, isn't it? Well, I think it is, and there's another factor there. Father Sean Hegarty had moved in then. Uh, he's only in about seven weeks, and congratulations to him for doing a fine job. Um, championship, people have different, the players have different attitudes. They get fitter, uh, they work out moves, their, their hunger is much better. As we can see here, mm -hmm. the Derry uh, defence got it out fast. Plunkett Morphy knocks it up. Uh, but here's the lacklustre affair again from Fermanagh just kicks out a long ball, a little lob out over the sideline. I mean, that shouldn't happen in championship football. It's always, I suppose, difficult, Paddy, to make predictions about Ulster football, the nature of it. But uh, from what you saw of Derry today, how would you rate their chances now of doing well in Ulster? Well, it's hard to rate them uh, very highly. But then to, in saying that, I would say that they do have a fine big side. Uh, they can play football. I think today they just felt that they were going to win the game anyway. Yeah, yeah. But I would like to see them moving on. I think they'll go maybe into the semi quarterfinal, semi final. <laughs> semi final. <laughs> semi final. Who would you have picked as your man at the match then? Well, Damien McCusker, uh, goalkeeper's union, played very well. Uh, he was unfortunate with the penalty being retaken. Um, technically, the referee was right. Michael O'Brien for man at number two, cornerback, extremely good player, tenacious. Championship endeavour, everything. But my man would be Damien Cassidy. Uh, not just because he scored a lot of scores, but because any time he got the ball, uh, he was looking for somebody. Mm -hmm. He wanted to play football. He was trying to find a man not just five or ten yards away, but 20 yards away. And, of course, his finishing was lethal. That's right. He didn't have to find anybody at all with that particular one. No. Surely he could do it himself. A fine performance by Damien today then for Derry. We'll be seeing him in the championship again later on. Paddy Cullen, our thanks to you for the moment. Now we've a altogether